Hello everybody, welcome to the Season 50 Round of 16 match between Martin Septim and his Bretonians and Contagious E and his Necromantics. In the booth with me is Fault Force. Hello. He's not he's not responding, but there you go, it's Fault Force. And uh, I, I just wasn't responding to fuck you over, Jim. Hi, I'm here, chat. Hello. <laughs> Thanks. Hello, those in Twitch chat and the filthy peasants watching the VOD on YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, so it's quite a good necro team, right? It's uh, it's got he's got a bunch of guard, he's got a couple of strength ups, he's got an edge up. Um, he's 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 caught the ball. Oh my god, he's caught What's the ball it? in his hand. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna he's, apple that? Probably not. Yeah, he's caught the ball on an edge two wolf, and then uh, oh for the for the bolt right, for the there, wasn't there a wizard? Yeah, there is a wizard there. Martin Sutton's got a wizard, it's just that it's bugged out. But there is, he has got a wizard. So I guess that's why he tried to catch it on the Arch 2 one, which is, you know, obviously it's rubbish that he can't dodge or anything, but great that he's uh, got the bolt to get hit by a bolt. Got a mighty blow wolf. So, like, it's a pretty good kind of, uh, you know, pretty TV efficient, good necro team. And now a bit better because he's got 13 players after getting a player for free. The Burts um, are like very min max, right? They've got four guards with. Uh, all with, guard, all with four guards. Four blockers, all with guard. A uh, couple with stand firm. Only three blitzers. One of which has got tackle, which is quite good. One's got edge and sure hands. And the other one's got strength five and guard. And they've all got dodge. So it's But it's pretty much all about Rick Reckless here. The strength five. Mega Bird. Pretty Not cool. a bad bird, to be honest. I mean, how much... How much? Uh... So we got, we got one instantly dead. I mean that's a, that's a swing into the favour of the necro. How much have we got on the substitute line for the for the birds? Yeah, How many reserves have we got? Three. three. That's not too bad. No. Fourteen tall at the he start take, of the game is pretty good. He, he, he can take a little bit of damage. It doesn't matter if a couple of line men die, right? Not too much, but the, the first one's the worst, right? Because it gives you the swing of giving the uh, necro thirteen. So yeah. now it means the necro can foul a lot easier. So he's probably going to want to target the mighty, the dirty player to stop. Try and stop we got a couple. Have we got a dirty player on the Necro team? Where's the dirty player? He's over here. Yeah. Uh, so Good on the zombie. That's who I'd be blitzing to try and stop the uh, fouls coming in thick and fast. I don't know who he's blitzing. I guess he's blitzing this guy because he's bursting. Of course, blitzing the dirty player would have been defenseless hit as well, so he'd have been 75% knockdown instead of 55. Was a nice casual 5 plus catch on the kickoff as well, getting it on the wolf. You can't yeah. complain about that, can you? No, he was, he was pretty lucky, wasn't he? But it was, it was. I think it was a good, a good decision to go and try and catch it on the wolf because he is, he is good bolt bait, isn't he? Like he's a bit of a rubbish player to be honest. Like with the, the edge bust devalues him a lot. So yeah. he's fast and. Uh, yeah, if you get I mean, it's even funnier the there. fact that he's got <laughs> the fact that he's edge bust and still picked up the ball on a kickoff. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. that's not too bad, is it? It's pretty great, yeah. <laughs> pretty Movement great. Movement A always very nice. You can just run it down the line at some point. Oh, and there we go. One in nine. That's always the issue, isn't it? When you blitz, uh, when you blitz wrestlers, that one in nine really hurts you. Maybe he should have blitzed over here, to, so he would have had the foul uh, if he didn't get knocked down like he did. But uh, instead, he's just got to, uh, well, stand Sorry, around. Sorry, he's still got that zombie on there. He's still got that zombie on the right side. Nobody can run past at the moment. I mean, there's a hole that he can run through in the centre, but I don't know why they do that. <laughs> he's going so he's in with the There you go, Generate filling up that hole, marking up. Yeah, mark up the players. I mean, you've got the you got the strength advantage on the uh, on the flesh golems. That's not too bad anyway. You just whack them there some stuff, and hopefully they can't be dealt with, right? Yeah, that is that it's either is that the or you get plan. guard spammed to death. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is the go-to plan of of necro to brainlessly hope they dice their opponents. <laughs> Absolute scumbag necro coaches. An average average blood bowl game, to be honest. But there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> you either play brain dead bash, or you uh, or you play elves and just potato your way down the field, going full inarian. But you know, <laughs> yeah. Setting up on the right hand side here. He's got a, he's got a cage set up. Is there any way of him hitting the ball there? I don't think there is. 
I mean, they're, they're, there's an easy Not way. Not that you'd want to. One, two, three, Is four, that? five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's like super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Like one, two, Can three. Can he make it around? Oh, he has to dodge. Six, he has to dodge through a couple. A couple of two pluses, and then, but then it's a three plus in the snow to hit him, plus he hasn't got tackle, so he, he won't yeah. want to hit him, but he could. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, he, he could do a, he could do harder dodges, right? He could do three, three, yeah. three. I wouldn't take the, uh, wouldn't take the dodges, but hey. For those of us who are not so Blood Bowl inclined, Jim, do you want to explain what snow does? Um, yes, it makes, it limits the longest pa pass you can do to a short pass, and it means makes go for it or a three plus rather than a two plus. So, you know, that, that hit, if it was a two plus to hit, you'd probably, well, you'd have thought about it more than a three plus, but I still wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't consider one dice in a blodger. Like, you're just exposing yeah. him to get nailed by the uh, wolf if you do that. So even if you could have reached without any dice rolls, I still wouldn't have done. <laughs> Come in. Come in on the line here, on the uh, on the right-hand side. I mean, could the Necro just swing back and push down the left now? Yeah, this looks a very uh, nice play to Blitz. It off. Yeah. Very nice play to Blitz. What he could even do is put in two players here and then Blitz him and then chain into an extra hit on this guy. Yeah, it wouldn't Something be, be bad at all. And yeah, he can hit this guy. He, what he, what he, unfortunately, is the, this this flesh is a bit screwed here, right? With uh, three guards on him, this flesh isn't doing yeah. a lot. I mean, he's he's a guard piece himself. He just needs to be just needs to be smacked in there. To be fair, enables other people to do the bashing. Hopefully, free him up to get a to get a two dice on somebody. Yeah, well, I mean that's the thing. Like he's he's so uh, Martin septon has got his four guards. Like four of his five guards in one place, and it does totally shut down these two guys. Yeah. But, it, but it is a four for two trade, so it's not that bad for uh, the contagious. Yeah, it's team. not bad at all. Or only he's chaining one of them out. So he's deciding to fight the, the guard spam. He's doing it fairly effectively at the moment. Hmm. It is working. I think I would have, I think I would have just blitz this blocker, to be honest. Hit him with I would have blitzed ball. the blocker and then just move to the and then move over to the left hand side. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I mean, if, if he wants to play the punching game, he can play the punching game. He's got mighty blow on a couple of his on a more than a couple of three of his players, right? He can sit there and start punching all he wants. Yeah, he's swinging back to the center though. I thought he would. I don't know if it's committed too much on the uh, on the right hand side for the birds. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I quite I didn't hate this trade if I was uh, contingency, so that's why I would have blitzed up here and been quite happy to like leave all these guys on the fleshy, and they might not deal with him. And you know, he could have got a blood, but I guess it's only turn three, so he just wanted to try and solidify everything. Yeah, exactly. Doesn't get the pal there. Just gets the uh, gets the push. I'll have to Stand uh, find out more about these boobies. Yeah, exactly, Ducky. Yeah, like there's there's a guard, there's a guard at the like w werewolves like to nibble at the edges, don't they? You know, like it's they, they can't go straight into like to like this player because they'll just frenzy trap themselves or like get hit back even if they power him and everything. What you want to do is pick off the guys at the edge. So this was like a, a guarder, which is perfect to go for. And yeah, as you say, he's, he's got the now that he's got this uh, kill, he's got 13 players who so can definitely afford a foul um, if he wants. Hmm. My blood bolt inexperience here tells me that the uh, the birds aren't in a great position here. I don't know what I'd do in their position. To be fair, I would choose any other race than birds. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I play as twenty twenty Jim, but in the uh, in, in the current game, I don't know what can be done. Here. I mean, the problem is you're going up against a load of guard. You're going up up a team who's got higher strength than you, right? Yes. It's I mean, it's always going to be difficult to play the bash game. I guess you've just got to try and take efficient trades. He's got more guard, right? Like, Birds have got more guard. The Birds have got five guard, and the uh, Necro have got three yeah. guard. And uh, the, the Necro do have more strength, but then if the Birds can foul, the foul out the strength, 
No, you can't foul out the strength. But if you could, I mean, Never that was a three assist foul. That was a pretty decent foul. Also, mm -hmm. chances to break armor on a, on a three assist foul. Well, in this particular case, it was three. seven plus, so it was like over 50%. I don't know exactly. 58%, I believe, but I could be wrong. Never lucky. Never lucky, Jim. Diced. It is 58%, isn't it? Correct. I just instinctively knew the correct answer. God, I'm good at this game. <laughs> Another piece removed. Yep. No apo. I mean, you don't apo that, do you? No, well, I mean, he could have done. But, I mean, he didn't. Would you power apo that? Really? I wouldn't, but he could. <laughs> like, he didn't. He had the option and didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anybody would have done, but he could have done. <laughs> He could have done, he could have done. Looking to commit here to the right hand side, it looks like. He's just probably next turn going to try and bash his way through. Yeah, maybe. He is starting to run out of a bit of time and he hasn't made any progress yet, so I guess he's going to have to start piling in at some stage. Oh, that's a big, that's a big stun. So, yeah, that's looking good for next turn, getting forward next turn. Looks like he is committing to this right-hand side here. Yeah. This guy maybe comes up here. I think. Yep. Goes for the one But Just a push. I mean, that's pretty good because then it strands the uh, strength five, Bert. All three blitzers on the wrong side, but at least they can reposition easily. Let's so see what he decides to do here. Just going to roll a pal. Instant power from the power. Oh. Removal. Armor break removed. Oh, that's big. <laughs> classic, classic banging ways. <laughs> Instant removal. <laughs> that's one the uh, that's one the whites removed instantly. That's not bad. Mm. That's another guard piece removed. To be fair. Yeah. I don't like this block. I much preferred hitting the freshy from the the other one. Then this guy could have put stand firm here. Hold the, yeah. hold the edge. And it's now. Oh, I guess he could, he could blitz this first. I mean, one. at this point, is he going to still try and break around the edge or not? Okay, well, now he's lucky. He's, he's got lucky and power the, power the flesh anyway, so now he can move this one over. Um, but I think he should yeah. move this one over and hold, hold the edge. See, so, yeah, I would have definitely hit him with the stand firm to free him. See, that's what he's doing. So, so with, with with him having that in, like he obviously had that in mind. I just think he's made a bit of a cock up. Wrong direction, yeah. Yeah, uh, what can you do? <laughs> <laughs> Not be as good as me, obviously. <laughs> just a joke. Just a joke. You're flexing the phrase. That's not what I would have done. <laughs> but who can say if it was good or bad? Go for another foul. Okay, okay. The fail. Doesn't break the armor again. Yeah, but this time only a two assist. If it had been a three assist, he would have broken this time. Uh, battling's one of those things. I don't know if it's worth worth a toss up. Like ninety percent of the time, I think yeah. you've got to be playing from behind to, uh, or got to get rid of a very key target to want to be fouling realistically. Oh, yes. Yeah, no, it's I situational. Be, uh, thank you very much, Sir Brasso. Like Welcome victorious. to Team Fantastic. Absolutely I will glorious. I will glorious. Oh, man. Oh, the, the Wolverine claws are a great touch, aren't they? I remember doing that. That was the age they're going to make that. I should do some more art again, shouldn't I? For at least a couple of years, I think. Yeah, it's, it's a long Close one. to it, yeah. Oh, it's more than a I couple do, of years. I'm going to do art. Let, let's, let's not look at your request queue and see how many fucking... There's hundreds of art requests there's are out there. Like mate. There's, four, there's 41, mate. There's 41. I've copied them all out on a spreadsheet because I'm, I'm actually going to... I'm actually really want to do them, so there you go. The Jesus problem is Christ. Just, uh, the problem is that it's kind of pointless, right? Like, that's the only bad thing because I'm never going to be good enough to be, like, you know... It to be you should just bang them out. Cool. Yeah, but, I mean, the reason that I wanted to do them was because I wanted to, like, practice art, you know, because I'd like to get good at art, but, like, I'm never going to now. I'm too old, aren't I? So makes me feel a bit sad. Oh, I'll quit your bitch and you'll be fine. <laughs> Just You're getting old, so what? I'm old. It's alright. It's 
gives you more time to sit there and play Blood Bowl, Jim. You torture yourself. It's not a, it's not a plus point, Folly. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's swinging back a little bit to the left here on the Necro. Yeah. I mean, it's a hard, it's a hard command on the right hand side from the birds. It's not the, not the worst play to be honest. Yeah, and he's he's tagged Wouldn't one of these wrestlers. He's tagged that stand firm with a zombie, which is nice, isn't it? Bit annoying that you can't, you can't set up a screen to stop them from getting past. That's the only issue I've got with it. Yeah, you might have to do this. I mean, you could try. Dodge. I was gonna say you can try and dodge one of them through, but it's, it's a pain to be honest. I feel like this school should have been here. And then so that, or, or like maybe it's here, and then this school could have been further over. Yeah. Um, so yeah, maybe, maybe this school here, and that school there, because now he's gonna have. Oh, I was gonna say he's gonna have to have somebody here to stop them coming in there, but maybe he doesn't. Stop the wrap around, yeah. Uh, I would have wanted to stop the wrap around a bit. They, they can literally just run through the run through the right hand side there. I mean, I guess he's. I guess he's planning on pushing down the left hand flank now. He doesn't have a choice. Yeah, he's gone he's... for the blitz as well. He has to go. Oh, and he's right. He oh my god, that was, a GFI. that was a GFI. That was do the second hit. I was going to say he'll do the shithead necro dodge off and like go up here, but he just didn't didn't have the movement because he blocked his own path with this guy. Got to be really careful with snow and not getting trapped with frenzy and GFIs. Mm, I mean, it's even even more likely to get knocked over. Yeah, this guy really should have been one across because that that could have really cost him. Oh wow, instant pal. This could have been the fireball turn. Yep, that's a very good point. Uh, Martin yeah, Seppin, you 100%. can't see it, but Martin Seppin does have a wizard. And every turn he should be thinking about, should I use the wizard? And yeah, great point by Ducky. This could have been a really good fireball. Um, you know, both ghouls if and the fireball, the, the fireball doesn't connect, it. though, and it doesn't do its job, I mean, it's a, it's a waste of a key piece. Got a nice surf there on the right-hand side, though. On that uh, zombie, nothing off of it though. Yeah, maybe, maybe um, that's why he decided, right. like he declined the whiz, right? He's, it, because Contagious E is running out of turn, time, only three turns. So if he, if he can get a better wizard chance and, and get a surf on the way, that's pretty decent, isn't it? He probably wants to eat this, and he's probably kicking himself for making such a shit block when he had a block with block over here. But never mind. <laughs> it is what it is. He does re roll it. Oof. Oh, I hate only having one reroll now for the well, that makes the wizard like devalues the wizard only having the one reroll. Okay, it's a stun piece. Nope. Oh. Skulls out. He could have made either of these hits to... with the with him, but obviously he wanted to free up the, the blocker to bring him across. Yeah, he's gonna have to take it. Not much you can do about that one. Yeah. I don't know. I was I was looking at the wizard play there and fireballing it. I mean, the problem is that if it yeah if if it doesn't do any damage, what's the what's the point in it there? You know, you can just stop them from scoring with the bolt. And well, you're right. The the, the clock the, timer is the, the clock timer is running down here. With the bolt. But the problem is the, the, he hasn't he, he hasn't managed to get up on the uh, on the ball or set up a, an effective screen. No. So you could just could just see the necro just sprint it down the line here and potato it. With the bolt, you've got a long way to react. So like, it wasn't really a good bolting turn, but it could have been a decent fireballing turn just because of the like. If no, you no, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have bolt, I wouldn't have bolted the bolt, but I would mm. have uh, I would have saved the bolt for when he's when he's pushing. Yeah, that's fair. But then if you save the bolt, then like you only stop the score. And to be fair, all he has to do is stop the score. If he stops the score, he, he probably scores in his drive and wins one 0 So like you don't have to use yeah. it to turn over. But obviously, it's really nice if you use the wizard to turn over and score on your opponent's drive. And I mean that this is going to be. They could have got so much value, right? If he knocks over the any two players, he's, he probably gets a hit on the ball. And that yeah. obviously huge value for knocking over these ghouls. They've got no regen and armor seven, so like mighty blowing them is incredible. Uh, wolf's still a wolf, even though it's a bit of a shit wolf. Um, so yeah, it's, it was worth thinking about the fireball, but it would have only like added to incremental positional advantage rather than like a massive, yeah, a massive great turnover opportunity. So the accuracy swing wouldn't have been as big as you thought it'd be. Yeah, well, potentially it would, it would have it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been an it, it wouldn't have been like a quick equity swing, but it would have been like an equity shift. <laughs> Massive equity. <laughs> but I mean, he's not he's not going anywhere here, is he? Contagiously, so it's looking pretty good to have not bolted right now. Yeah. But like, he should be know, thinking about is, it. He should be thinking this is about the thing. it every time. He's been. He's given the. He's given the birds time to react and swing back over to the left. 
I mean, that's the that's the problem here. I mean, what after this, he's got two more turns to try and score. Yeah, I don't know how. And you know, he's God, God score. forbid. Yeah, God, God forbid any of uh, you know Martin just throws a couple of blocks and any of uh, any contagion's pieces either get removed or stunned. Mm -hmm. Makes it even more difficult. It's really not looking good for the, the necro at the moment, to be honest. It's really not. You get that amazing turn one kill, and then uh, <laughs> and then look what happens with it. Yeah, he just hasn't been able. He hasn't got any penetration, has he? Bloody birds, man! <laughs> I'm outrageous. <laughs> Outrageous birds. Outrageous. Ah, oh. you wouldn't think they're a good team, but hey, if you can stall it, it's not too bad. No, the birds aren't crap at all. They've, they've got five guard, right? They've got five guard, and they've kind of got like a blood ogre. So that's pretty 100%. good. Hundred percent. It's it's oh. one of the better birds that I've seen. That's a nice mm. stun. Huge stun, yeah. Mm. Now I mean, I it's it's one of the better birds that I've seen, right? But at the end of the day, they're still birds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really want to knock over this uh, this tackle blitzer, right? So you can potato, basically. You're pretty good. You got a pretty nice potato on if you can if you can just take down this tackle uh, bird. He could again. He should be thinking about the wizard, but I don't think he should wizard. With the stun onto uh, onto Rick there, I think he needs. Uh... He needs to look at going next turn. I don't think he has any time. I mean, it's turn seven. He, he doesn't have any time. Yeah, he has to go. He has, yeah, he to, has, go, to, yeah. go. He has to go. Yeah. I mean, what's his what's his plan here, and how does the Burt, how does the Burt team stop it? It's a good question. Um, his plan is is definitely take out this tackler and potato. So yeah. I guess the the Burt should have blitzed with his tackler, to, so he could he could get him back and like you know. Back able to react and then probably just dodge away with this guy. So you, you you've got the tackler and the edge free, so you can uh, bolt and tackle and show hands like recovery. But then you just got to get in the way of all this. Like this is where right this, this moment, is the yeah. mobile stuff, right? You've got a strength four, you've got and you've got three blodgers and you've got another Roger. So you've got like this is where the movement is. Over here is nothing. So you want to get out of this neck of the woods and over here to stop him. Uh, Bezzing up the field. Alright, see you, Ducky. Good luck. Luck on your game. Uh, Potato over all the forgotten is a Blood Bowl 2 term from uh, from years ago when somebody played in a league and his coach name was Potato and he would just run down the field, com run his ball carrier com down the field completely unprotected. And that was called a Potato because his coach name was Potato. Um, so that is a potato in Blood Bowl 2 terminology. <laughs> well, so he's done the exact opposite of what I would have done. Like, I would have kept, kept the back the agility, and he's just going for the ball. Boy, howdy. I mean, it's not the worst play. He gets the... Uh... But the problem is he doesn't... Oh, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have... Uh... Mm. Yeah. So, in a, in, so he's, he's reduced his own cover now. Now he's given the... Uh... That's not good at all. No, he's given the... Uh... He's given it, what two D here. And then... I'm I'm no uh, I'm no expert blood bowl player, but that that didn't look like a good play to me. I'll be honest. Oh oh god, this is horrible. This is he's hit the. Oh, I guess no, it's not. No no no, you can go this way, but mm, I don't like it. If you're gonna do that, you really want to do. Oh, he's got to take the ball down and wrestle himself. If you're gonna do that, you want to do this hit hit first to see if you uh, to see if you pal there really. Um... Have to wrestle there. He's just gonna have to run it down the side. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he, what can he screen it? Can he screen it at all with the ghouls? Uh, can he? He, he probably can get should have blitzed somewhat. with his strength ghoul. This ghoul should have, could have just blitzed here, right? And then he would have been up and away. But I guess like the wolf's gonna come in and blitz somehow. Stand up the zombie and the wolf blitzes. Yeah, it kind of works. But yeah, this is exactly what I wouldn't have done. That this I wanted this show hands back here, and he's made this week, and he's he's made like. And he's got players behind the ball. It's like absolutely. What he, he should have just. Have he should have just moved stuff back up the field. That's the issue. I mean, what? Even if, I mean, I wouldn't even have minded just marking up the uh, market of the wolf because it's an edge two wolf. It's a. It's an edge busted wolf, right? Yeah. So I wouldn't have minded just marking it up with both players and not even taking the blitz hit there. The problem is purely based on the fact players, that you can't taking, dodge out. But you're taking players away. That's the thing, and you just blitz them. Off. Well, you are. Yeah, you're taking it away from the line. Yeah, but which I mean is that's. Terrible. Just but the, the fact that he do. failed it and he got the push, it takes him out of the uh, out of the tackle zone there. The yeah. other one, so it's but just it's not great at all. 
No, but I mean, even if he hadn't, like, even if he'd pushed him across, like, it's still pretty easy to chain him free, and it's like, it was just taking, like, he needed, I would have had the tackle and the show hands back, and if you've got a tackle and yeah. a show hands back here, then you simply bolt the ball, the tackle blitzes one of these guys, and the show hands gets it, like, it was, it was so easy to cover this breakaway, and it was the, like, I think it's a mistake by Martin Septon to have not covered the breakaway especially with a wizard so like he's basically thrown away his wizard here as, as well as everything just to get a 2d on the ball that he wasn't going to re-roll yeah. if you make that hit on the re on the ball you've basically got to re-roll it because even though you've only got one which is why i think you should have eaten that uh both down earlier in the drive because you can't leave yourself only one re-roll with a wizard in my opinion it's, it's a difficult thing and i mean you got to realize as well the time is running down and you know we we can sit up here in our ivory blood bowl tower and watch the uh <laughs> You know, watch the game on Cabal Vision. But if he thought he was the best player at the time, you know, he thought he was the best player at the time. Yeah. But it's just, it's, yeah, it's just, it's opened it up on the right-hand side and it looks like Contagion's going to get get the free touchdown off of it. I mean, do you go for a fireball or a bolt here? I don't think you can. Stop it? Is, I, I don't think you even can. I don't think this you can the, stop it. I mean, he bolts and then what happens? How do you, how do you pick it up? How do you incept it? I don't think you can. You know, he's, got, he's got this is right in the way he's, he's got like three players in the way from, of the edge for sure hands he's got he's got a screen in front of the tackle the tackle is based by a strength four it's just it's just terrible he's basically kind of thrown it away a little bit um, that is that is pretty rough and the equity just shifts both ways this game Jim back and forth <laughs> <laughs> yep two months equity hello Skuro uh, hello, Lazy Ollie. Hello, Paravel. Yeah, hello, Daily. Yeah, it's kind of said disparagingly, to be fair, for all the forgotten like the potato, because it's obviously not. It's not. It was never a great strategy, right? And it's like it's a desperation move. So like it is, it is said with with like you know, it's never really complimentary that you have to potato. But if if you have to potato, you have to potato. <laughs> a Paravel cage. <laughs> Yeah, we, will we see a Paravale cage? That's the question. So, the wolf, has he got enough movement? He's got enough movement to get up there. Does he have to GFI for it next turn? Uh, no, he's five in. He's got a five in. Okay, so it's not so too bad. How you can do is you can count from here. Look, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. So, you know, it's... Uh... I, I haven't played enough uh, enough Necro to know what the movement value of wolves is. Fair enough. Or played against enough Necro. Fair enough. But yeah, as you see, Martin doesn't use the wizard here. And he's not going to stop him without the. Well, I don't think he would stopped him with the wizard, but he's definitely not stopping him without the wizard, is he? Exactly. I guess he, yeah. He's got a he's got a hit here, I guess. Right? He could go one, two, three. He could go three, three, three to get a one D. Is it worth it? I mean, what else is he going to? I mean, do? you might as well try, right? Mm. He's not going for it. He blitzes up. He blitzes up tries to mark the ball with that it's not too bad nice. i mean you gotta remember as well it's a it's an edge busted wolf yeah obviously it's gonna get blitzed immediately right <laughs> but if the blitz this doesn't work but it's just he's got too many players free like it's yeah it's, uh... i'd say it's uh it's bye 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 touchdown for the birds and it looks like it's going to be picked up by uh by contagion here yeah. God, I need an incomes the squirrel sound effect on it. So yeah, you can, you can blitz him with a wolf. Yeah. You could even you could even blitz him on three dice with a ghoul. Uh, but you're, ready for, the, you're, not, you're, you're ready for the quad skulls, yeah? Yeah, quad I mean, that's skulls the thing. The blitz, I believe quad well, skulls. The thing. It's, it's safer. That's what I'm saying. It's safer to do the three D with a ghoul, right? You could just three D with a ghoul, but he's obviously going to want to hit him with claw mighty, so he's going to he's going to go. I mean, oh, I get, oh you, you could block this. You could block this guy first, then you would have 3D with the... Uh, He's wolf. going for it. Mm. Uh, you get one skull, but never two. Never lucky. <laughs> Gets the pow. Best. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't the worst play. I mean, it's a nice... It's a nice piece to have there as well. Because he's got the, uh, you know, he's got the stand firm. If it didn't work, you know, you would have had to dodge away with the... Uh, with the wolf there and with it being edge busted. It was a nice attempt to save, but wasn't to be, unfortunately. <laughs> yes. So like we're just going to see as much damage as possible being done by the Necro here. I mean, he's got the re-roll. It's safe enough to take some hits, isn't it? 
Yeah, block hits. He's not going to hit without block. That's way too risky. Yeah. One in eighty-one chance is way too risky. Like it, it's not right. <laughs> it, it might be plus EV to block with a with a blockless block, but like no one ever does like that. It's pretty crazy yeah. to make those hits. But like it genuinely probably is plus EV to hit with an even. Hand off there, not dodge. You're right. That's not too bad. Yeah, he had the goal in front, so that's probably why he was dodging through to try and stop that as well. But yeah, was just he was never going to stop him. That was a real. He, he space cadetted himself really by going for the ball that turn. That was yeah. uh, that was a big move to go for the ball and, not, and to not use the reroll on it when it was such a commitment. And, uh, yeah, a bit of a bit of a mistake there from Martin Septim, but never mind. He's still got. Oh, uh, uh, still knocked down. Doesn't get up. Does the uh, does the necro piece get up? It doesn't. Okay. Where's the Blood Bowl? Exactly, we don't have it, do we, right? Maybe. Maybe when we get Blood Bowl Stockfish, it'll tell us It'll tell us whether we should be making these hits at the end of the half. But, like, nobody does the blockless ones. You know? Keep writing people... those emails to Stockfish, yeah? You're hoping yeah. they're going to make a Blood Bowl edition. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, obviously, they, they will never. They will, they will never have that. Unless, like, somebody like Elon Musk likes Blood Bowl. Um, it's never, ever going to happen, is it? And imagine you got an AI, but you still get diced by Rick. <laughs> yeah, even the AI would just get diced by Rick. <laughs> It'd be the ultimate Blood Bowl AI with like a 90% win rate, and it would still just get diced the pants off by Rick. Nothing beats mm. Rick dice. Let's see if he can do some damage here on the, uh, on the one turn he's got. I mean, he can't... Can he, can he one turn with his team here? He can. It's it it's, possible? it's very difficult, right? He's got move. Se he's got move seven and edge four. And well, you're going up against strength plus as well. Some well, of the stand some firm. pieces you're going up against, yeah. Stand firm. So, I, but but even if it wasn't against stand firm, he's movement seven, edge four in a blizzard. So it's like it's yeah. a really hard one turn. It even even if it wasn't against stand firm, and strength up and and all the rest of it. So. I wouldn't even try the one turn here. I would just set up for a... You wouldn't try the one turn? No, I would just set up for a quick snap. Uh, not a quick snap, a riot or, or punches. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Fimea, that is the Blood Bowl supercomputer for sure. For sure. Um, hello, Walid. Later we have Chunter versus whoever he's playing, I don't know, and Ducky versus Pedro Jack. Oh, he's playing his game now, so we're going to have to watch that one posthumously. Yes, yes. Is that, that is the right good. word? Posthumously? No, that's after it's, after somebody's dead. <laughs> Foley. I mean, to be fair, one of the teams is going to be dead after this game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're not going to be in the runnings anymore, are they? <laughs> it's it's not. Oh, yes, yeah, Thomas T. Oh, my God. I thought Thomas T was against Mr. Page, but that's Toast Guy. I'd written Toast, and I thought I'd written Thomas T. To be fair, it's one letter away from Thomas T. <laughs> toast, isn't it? Uh, right, Thomas, Chunter versus Thomas T. Yeah, that should, be, that, should be a, that should be a fun one, yeah, for sure. Chunter versus Thomas T should be a fun game. Let's see some rats. Yeah. Uh, good luck, Kalon. So yeah, I think I think this 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 one turn here is just too difficult. So just set up for a riot. I mean, it's this is the thing, right? It's chalice. You got to go for the you got to go for the one turn sometimes, right? I wouldn't know how to do it. I mean, there's no what if there's if there's any time to do a one turn. Surely <laughs> now's the time to do it. No, because it's really difficult, and I don't know how to do it. So <laughs> I'm I'm I think if I don't know how to do it. That leaves yeah. one person who might know how to do it, <laughs> and this is not Martin Septim is not Kfog. So uh, I imagine can't he's not going to try. It's pretty hard. Can't mate. be that hard. It's pretty hard, mate. No weather changes. Doesn't, yeah, it doesn't go for it. Get a nice weather change though. A little bit easier on the eyes now to look at. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the things of the blizzard, isn't it? It's a bit, it's a bit rubbish. I'm looking. Now he can hit the wolf here, can't he? He's, uh, oh, he's got that knockdown and that knockdown. He can. Oh, but it's not the good wolf. Mm. Sad. No pieces removed so far. Yeah. Also, do some damage with this turn here. 
Oh, he's blocked his path to hit the wolf. I, oh, I can just hit this one, but with, but with a power, right? He can just try to full power the blodger. Um, or he could try and blitz this one and then foul the fleshy. Reroll. Yeah, I mean, you got your reroll. Might as well use it, right? Dice. Not lucky with it. Gets a push in the, a push in the down. Not going to get anything there. He hasn't got dirty. Oh, his dirty player's the one who's KO'd. But, I mean, he's, he's got a reserve, so he might as well go for this foul. Like, it, it could be swingy for the match, right? If he just gets, if he yeah. just gets a casual Kaz here. Not a bad foul. Yeah, it's, it's a bit Going shit, obviously. It's re regen and thick skull. It's it's not a great foul, but on the other hand, he's... He's, he's, in, he's behind, he's got to go for behind. it. Yeah, yeah. Well, he doesn't have yeah. to go for it, but... I can understand going for it. <laughs> no, it's a I mean, it's a KO. I mean, if he doesn't get up on the, uh, yeah, he doesn't get up on the next row, that's big. Very big, very big, very lucky. But I mean, he didn't have to go for it. But I, I totally understand going for it. It's a potential equity shift. Let's see. Mm. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Oh, cheeky bit of SPP farming. <laughs> fails the, uh, fails the pass there. The problem is, Invictus, you, you've got you've only got move seven, right? So it's really hard to get the pushes. Like it's it's really hard. It's really hard. It's really hard. So the Burt's one comes back onto the reserves, and there, oh, there you go. It makes no difference there. Oh my God! Both the Necro pieces come back. <laughs> Australia's just scored, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on in this World Cup, honestly? Argentina lose, and now France are 1-0 down. What the hell? <laughs> I'm watching it on the TV next to me, and it says 0-0 uh, says zero, zero at the moment. Thanks for the spoilers, Jim. <laughs> <Draw>. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, at least you'll be able to see a nice goal now. <laughs> exactly. I'm just going to ignore the blood bowl now and just look over at the screen over there. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Right, let's have a look. You got the Burt's drive coming up now. Should be doable. Yep. See if he can push it to overtime. I don't think he's. Uh, I don't think he's going to score twice. Not against Necro. I think he's going to have to try and push it to OT. Yes, he's not even going to try to score twice, right? Because if he scores early, he just gets like it's just he the just same as losing on, the toss. Yeah. yeah, it's just the same as losing the toss in overtime. So there's absolutely zero motivation to score early. He might score early because he might have to, right? That's the only thing he might yeah. have to fucking score early. Um, but he'll only score early if he has to, for sure. Oh, I think I'm going to watch this. Uh... Oh, that's a clean goal, that is. <laughs> Can't believe France left it open like that. Amateurs. Amateur, yeah. What can you do? What can you do? <laughs> Back to Blood Bowl. Let's have a look. <laughs> the water carrier doesn't up. look happy. Hmm... I don't know why teams don't just have these presets done for uh, for setting up. I mean, it can't be that can't be that difficult each time to set it up, right? No, it is though because it's too much annoying. different. It's it's annoying because the the game just doesn't let you save them half of the time and saves them incorrectly yeah. half of the time. Yeah, it's a nightmare. Ridiculous. Quick snap. Le quick snap. Ho ho ho. You can save three, but it's just it's just hard. Like it doesn't always work and stuff, and it's it's just a bit rubbish. Yes, three offensive and three defensive. Big commitment to get a punch off. I would have done the LOS blocks first. And then if I did knock them all down, bliss them, so that you weren't left with potentially having three guys stuck in the flesh if you don't power him. <laughs> Le snap quick. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yes, and any change in available players messes it up as well, yeah. See, look, instantly we get a non knockdown here. Also a non-3D from him. He gets the chain, though. 
punch it with the other bird on the right hand side. Yeah, but he punched yeah, pushes down this, as well. he pushes this guy to the wrong square, right? This guy should have been pushed to here. So that yeah. if this is a punch, then he can punch back. Um so now he's given himself he's he's lost a potential hit there. So he he, he did do this slightly slightly incorrectly, the other ice blocks. Incorrect. <laughs> it's alright, still worked out in the end. Yeah. He's got all the he's got all the pieces marked. He can punch a few pieces if they decide to get up next turn. Yeah. He's just setting up a setting up a defense here. Doesn't look too bad to be honest. He's putting he's going for the foul. Yeah, yeah, it was dirty play this time. Only two assists, not great. See if it works. If it does, it's Ooh. a bloody Kaz sent off, but he's got a Kaz. He'll take that trade. Will does the region uh, doesn't big, work? Yeah. Yeah, wow. that's the, that's a worthwhile trade. We take those. Yeah, and and it, what's good is uh, Contagious he was aware of the possibility, right? Because he didn't he didn't stand firm, and if he'd stood firm, there would have been another two assists, yeah. another one or two assists on it. So good play by Contagious e to see that the foul was coming, and uh, Vista, yeah, great. that's a huge equity swing, a huge equity swing there. Yeah, yeah, massive. I like this. I like this. You know, pretend idiocy here. So he might, you know, if he forgot about Fend, he could have gone, "Oh, he's giving me a surf," and then he would have blitzed him and been like, "Oh, do he's got Fend." So I, I like, I like sticking him out there as like, as a decoy octopus. The bait, yeah. Yeah. I mean, at this level, are people gonna fall for that, Jim? Yes. <laughs> you think so? Yes. <laughs> people will fall for that in the final, mate. <laughs> People who have won Chalice will fall for that. I can, I can tell you a hundred percent that there are three people who have won Chalice, who I think um, are well not good, to put it politely. You being one of them, yeah. I have never won Chalice. Oh, you never won Chalice. I would have thought of all people you would have. You would have thought that, wouldn't you? I, I you would have thought have. that. Turns out you're as shit as the rest of us. <laughs> 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 Banter! Not you looking on numbers, not you. Not you. I put you as solidly average. <laughs> not bad. <laughs> I think three bad people have won. I think three bad people have won. There you go. Maybe more. Maybe more. But I think three bad players have won. Um, but yeah, uh, no, I've, no, I've never won. I got, I got diced by, by a very good coach. So there you go, what can you do? What can you do? Sorry, you need to play more Death Roll the Dwarves, get them in. <laughs> and and um, nearly won with Death Roll the Dwarves, got the semi final. No, it was great, yeah. Beaten by the best player in the world with a ridiculous natural one turner. Hey, people hate Death Rollers. Death Rollers are the best thing about Dwarves, nobody buys them. Yeah. I don't get it. Yeah. Yeah, just once per avail. Just once. Uh, three lost fight, three lost semis, and one lost final. I mean, to be fair, I just haven't even qualified that much. Like, uh, I've done, I've done pretty well in Chalice for how many times I've qualified. But um, you know, to be fair, you don't, you don't play enough Blood Bowl to uh, to get a team up that high. To be fair, you enjoy the select games of Blood Bowl you play now. Oof. Oh, he's gonna have to re-roll that. No, he oh, doesn't. He can't afford it, mate. He's only got two re-rolls. He's got. To, he's just got to. Yeah. Like, there's no real hit on the ball still, so it's fine. It was. It was. A, it was good play that he liked did the save him first. That he, he could afford to eat it. Yeah. Never lucky. Yeah. The best coach in Blood Bowl 2, Waleed, it's safe to say, is Corfu. Um, I don't think you'd find too many arguments with that assessment. Guard in the strength assessment. five around the mighty blow. It's pretty good, isn't it, right? Because he knows he's going to get dodge on him. So um, guard and dodge is like fine because then you've got a strength. Like you've got a strength five. Like strength five is so good, right? So having a blodge guard strength five is really good. Um... So yeah, yeah, I, I quite like got the, it. You got the number one death zone player in here as well, Jim. Yep. Top top ranked. Top ranked death zone. All coach. valuable input. Yep. If he he could have taken mighty blow, but if he taken mighty blow, he needs dodge and tackle, right? And then, but then if he's got a strength five mighty blow, like blodge tackle, that's a really good player too, but. Uh, it's six and two threes, really, whether you go guard or mighty blow. But if he'd gone mighty blow, you'd have had to have got tackle on him. 
Um, I, I like Mighty Blow. Blow. Yeah, I do as well. Like, it's pretty nice getting a Strength 5 Mighty Blow. Like, you know, being a little Mighty yep. Blow anybody every turn is pretty good. Just punching shit is pretty underrated. Yeah. It wins you games sometimes. Yeah. Paravail estimating Blood Bowl players being 1 billion Blood Bowl coaches on Earth. I think you've overestimated a little bit there, Paravail. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely say it's shared by around 8 billion people. <laughs> you realise he put 7 instead of uh, instead of 1. Are you, uh, you going blind in your old age there, Jim? No, it's well, 8 that's a billion. Big it's 8 billion. It, well, there's 8 billion people in the world now, right? There's 8 billion in the world. It's like, that's, is he going to do that as he gets sent off there? Hmm. Doesn't Apo it. I'm pretty sure it's 8 now. And you know, of those 8 billion. Of those 8 billion people on planet Earth, Blood Bowl is played by literally dozens. <laughs> dozens of people who've actively signed up for pain. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine <laughs> that was Fimir. That was like one of Fimir's first commentary things, right? When it was when uh, yeah, yeah, Fimir it was brilliant. It's like a game played by literally dozens of different players. It was incredible. <laughs> it was amazing. Cool. Yeah, the first ever commentary at JFW. Yeah, what what a what a fucking bar to set. What a high bar to set in the first. It was, yeah. It was Fimir. It was so random as well, wasn't it? You were just like, yeah, I'll do a commentary. And I was like, yeah, okay then. <laughs> God. That's what we are now. <laughs> no idea. No idea what's, what it's going to be like. And that was the, in the first day of commentary. I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> this is fucking gold. <laughs> what a legend. <laughs> Amazing, Fimir. Amazing. Um, yeah. Yeah, exactly, Mordred. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so now he's got the ball. This is the thing. Now he's got the ball in the strength five bludger. It's going to be really hard for the Necro to get it off him. Yeah. Like, no matter what they do. And he's also, he's had the send off as well as the uh, Kaz. So it's, uh, it's got nine players in the field. It's going to be the very Necro hard. is going to have to. Necro is going to have to swing all the way back. Oh, he's got ten. Oh, the send off happened before. What? Three, six, nine. Oh, he's got nine. That's right. Three, six. Yeah, nine players. Yeah. And three, six, nine. So it's nine aside. And how the fuck do you get the ball off a strength five, dude? It's not easy. A strength five bludger. Oh, especially since your flesh golem got removed. Mm. And you got another one that's stunned on the floor. Doesn't mm. look great here for the uh, for the necro team. It doesn't, no. Got Burt's pushing up the left hand side. He's gonna have to swing over to the left hand side and set up a screen here, realistically. It's the piece in range. Mm. Oh, there's... oh, that's uh, that's not bad. Yeah, that's good. It Another plays. piece removed. Yeah, it all adds up. It all adds up. Just raw numbers count for a lot. You know, like player quality matters, but just actual numbers on the pitch matter a lot too, as well. Yeah. And here we go. The claw mighty nails him. You might not use Fen now, right? To suck the air, uh, suck the wolf onto him. Way. I think you. You have to use Fen there, right? No, you you don't have to. You get the choice. It's a, it's like it's well, obviously way. you get the choice, but. Well, not obviously. Some people, some people don't know, but you always get the choice. Well, some people, some people have auto skills on Jim, but well, those no, kind but, of people aren't good football coaches. No, but the point is, even if you have Fend on auto, you always get the choice against Frenzy. Yeah. So that's the thing. So he, he would have, he would, like that was the point. He, he does get the choice, but um, chooses not to. But he, he might have done right because if he, if he, if he didn't use it, then he would have had to follow up on a tackle, and he would have had a tackle hit on the wolf. There you go. Wouldn't have used it. 
Uh, but now he can put in the he can put in the guard here and blitz the ghouls. Pretty good, isn't it? Stand firm guard and then blitz him with tackle. It's pretty nice. Or blitz the wolf anywhere, right? You could just blitz the wolf anywhere with tackle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, and then just keep the ball in the strength five. Yes, dearly, but you could just literally use it and they would never follow. Like, that's the, that's the fucking stupid thing, isn't it? It's like, oh, Fen being optional is so dumb. Like, it's literally just for mind games. It's so stupid. And there's an effective gaslighting tool. Yeah. Yeah. Fen on manuals of war crime. I'm not sure it's that bad, but um, it's certainly it's certainly a bit silly. as bad as a multi-stab assassin. Mm. My favourite Blood Bowl piece. <laughs> Just a shame that the fucking stab doesn't give you any SPP when you uh, when you hit somebody. That is a you actually have to, that's, that's the problem with it. Yeah. God knows why I thought that's good game design, but you know, there you go. Goes to the Blitz, doesn't get it, gets the push instead. Tackle on manual is a sign of mental instability. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, to be fair, you could have it on manual to run down the clock. Yeah. I mean think about what that does to uh think about what that does to Revel games. <laughs> <laughs> Four minutes with a uh, with animation timers on and running down the clock with skill choices. Yeah. Oh boy, that's at least a seven minute turn. Yeah, imagine that. Here. You could have Amazons with dodge on dodge on manual and all with oh, sidestep and tackle and just all of it on manual. <laughs> Four. Nasty man. <laughs> but then they could just not dodge, Voro. That's the thing, right? Then they could just not dodge. So. It's relying on your opponent being a fool, basically, or lazy. <laughs> yeah, fend, yeah, yeah, zone with dodge, fend, sidestep. Oh, God, imagine that. I wonder what the highest theoretical time you could waste to using that method. Oh, God, it's a lot. got to be at least, like, eight, nine minutes a turn if you got loads of skills on people. Yeah, a lot. Glorious. I should just make a troll team, right, of Amazons with Fen and <laughs> do it like that and just see what happens. <laughs> see how many concession wins you get as people are like, oh my god, I'm not fucking oh, wasting Shadow my life on be... this game. <laughs> Shadowing would be great. <laughs> MVP skill right there. <laughs> oh, right, what's, what's happening in Blood Bowl here? Let's have a look. Um, so you tag this guy, you punch him. And then you get an assist through, blitz one of the... Oh, well, you've got an assist there already, so you put... Yeah, he's already put, got an assist. Put a guy in here, punch him, blitz him, move the ball up to here. That's it. Yeah, it could be an absurd amount of time, yeah. Yeah, it'd be funny to try it, see what happens. I, I reckon you'd get loads of concession wins. <laughs> the game. You could get away with it. And people would just be losing. You might upset a few people, but there you go. You would definitely upset a few people, yeah. No, he's not going for that. I like my play. He might go on a variation of it, to be fair. Oh, he's committing now to the left-hand side, but then what? Is he going to try and stall it out for a couple of turns? Yeah, yeah, he's, 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 he's going to take him some turns to get there, isn't it? It yeah, will do, yeah. So he's got, he's got to go now. There we you go. can set he up a screen with this as well. Yeah, he gets the power so he can set up a screen with this as well if he wants to. Four. Nice stun piece as well there. Yeah, he doesn't get the cars, but he gets him in. He can come there. And uh, this is alright, isn't it? It's acceptable. 
maybe a bit too wide from uh, contagiously. Oh, boo. The frogs uh, have a really good chance. Who knows if they'll score it or not. <laughs> no, they scored. <laughs> Spoilers. Spoilers for Faulty. The frogs have equalised. You know, watch it now. I can see him setting up for what appears to be... Is that, a, is that a free kick or a penalty? I wasn't Doesn't watching look too I just literally just saw him celebrating. I, I missed it. I was watching the Blood Bowl, believe it or not. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what a header! Yeah, <laughs> good clean up. <laughs> not bad at all. <laughs> Thick of egg. Hello. Oh. Okay, on that Hello. piece there. Varkaho. Could I have this? Power Apo? Oh. Come on, Power Apo. You know you want to do it. I think he wants to, but it's like... Ugh. You can tell the amount of time he's taking. He wants that Power Apo. Yeah, yeah, he really wants to, but he's like... Go oh, on, go know. on. He doesn't do uh, No balls. Look at this. Jimmy. Jimmy's his uh, stand firm blocker here. Beautiful. Best player on the field. <laughs> I mean, obviously it's not, but, you know. Got the best name, hasn't he? He's in the worst block of skin out of all of them. Wow. Okay, it's another removed piece. Okay, oh okay. Yep. This not, is looking, not looking great here for the bird now, I'm going to be honest. Nope, it's not looking great, but he does have a strength 5 bird. So, he does. Oh my god, another, oh, another removal. <laughs> another KO. Wow, man. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. What is this? Uh, this zombie is in the absolute worst position. Absolute worst. He just had to go here or here. Now, man. He had to go here or here. But um, no, the birds are fine, right? They just blitz and then potato. One, two, three, I mean, four, five, six, what, seven. I mean, you potato up the field and then he's yeah. just going to get punched. I mean, on the, I mean, it, it is a strength five, yeah. Yeah, he's strength That's five. The thing. <laughs> and he's got, he's got a guard to come with him. So see what the uh, see what the birds decide to do here. I think he's I think he's just got to go for it now, doesn't he? Yeah. Don't think he has the choice with this one. Yeah. So you can put a guard next to him, and you can try and tag the well. You can tag the strength four or the guard. One, I guess you tag one, two, three, four, five, six. So you either GFI to tag this guy, or you tag this guy with the uh, peasant to take away one of the guards, and then you eye cage. With the, uh, tag the, I think you tag the white. Well, yes, I mean they're both white, but you you tag one of the. Sorry, the uh, the the lower one. Sorry, yeah. yeah I mean, does it matter easy. which one you? Does it matter which one you do here? Well, if you tag this one, he needs an assist to punch you. Um, yeah. And he's further down the field. Uh, this one, you you're up the field. But oh, okay, you can do this. Yeah, okay, the screen works, doesn't it? Yeah, you can just screen. That's pretty. Reading cool. off, yeah. Because now he, he can get a 1D on him. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, GFI, GFI. So he can get a 2D. So it's not that good to do it like this. No point in uh, no point in just trying to tag him by punching the stand firm. I think he's got to go for the ball hit here. He's got to go for the sack. Yeah. So this one can double GFI to get the other guard in. Um, or he could just get in with the wolf, right? He could just assist with the wolf and then tag this guy. In. Yeah, but he's got to come in with the... Uh, yeah. Four rest I mean, it's one it's one guard piece in already. Yeah. Not too bad. It's just how he decides to to tackle this here. I don't know. Does he put the? Does he? I think he just rams the other guard in there and goes to the hit with the wolf, right? He's, he's got a double GFI, and the wolf is only strength three, so he's probably going to put the wolf in for the assist. Yeah, he's already cancelled this peasant here. So the wolf runs round for the assist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's, it's got to be the good wolf, unfortunately. So the good wolf comes in here. And then the ghoul can 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, GFI, GFI. Spells, the wolf gets banged on. Gotta do it. Yeah, I think you're right with that. I don't see what else he does here. Shit wolf can, uh, tag, can tag the wrestler first. And he'll still have the uh he he shouldn't he shouldn't have committed this. He's committed this ghoul. 
Like this is his. Uh, I guess he, he was he's knocked over, wasn't he? Uh, so that's fair enough then, I guess. And he's only going to have one white to to react after the after the knockdown, but it's good enough. Better than nothing, yeah. Hope for a good scatter. Oh, the frogs are two one up now. Sad. Sad. The frogs. The French. The wonderful French national team. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, he's doing the double GFI. I hate this. I absolutely hate this. That's just stupid. No offence. I deserved, honestly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no, it was one GFI with a... Oh, so, okay, it wasn't that bad. It was one GFI with a wolf. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it was one GFI with a wolf. So it wasn't that bad. And obviously it would have failed anyway, like the double one. But I, yeah. I thought the wolf could have got there without any GFIs. So actually there is a bit of a trade off, right? If you if you do it with a if you do it with a wolf it's only one GFI. If you do it with him it's two. If you do it with him, then um you've got the wolf like, you know, you've got to move eight blodger to react, so that is better than a move six non blodger. So it actually it actually wasn't as unfair as I thought it was, um, the comparison. But there you go. So now Martin can just. Uh, bl oh, he's got to reroll this. He's got to reroll. Yeah. He needs at least the push. He needs. Yeah, at least he the does. Push. Yeah, gets the push. You don't get a fresh. Do you get a fresh set of rerolls in overtime? No. That's not good at all. Then. Oh, he goes in. He goes he in. I thought he was probably going to stall it for another turn, but he's just going for it. I would have definitely okay. tried to stall it. He had he had a move in edge four guy, so he could have he could have yeah. got one player around the ball. How many how many necro pieces have been knocked out? So they're getting a couple of burp pieces back up. Yeah. Nothing on the necro side. Okay. I mean, it's not the worst of plays if he wanted to go for the score and secure it. He wants to secure it. You know what can you do? Yeah. But it's. It's whether or not the necro here are going to be able to are going to be able to two turn it. Yeah, and to be fair, the necro do do only have one wolf that's like a realistic threat, right? Because the other one's edge two. So yeah, you can't can't really get the ball onto him, can you? Very difficult. Yeah, it's difficult, but I mean, like you know, you can because chorf score and bulls in two turns all the time, but like less yeah. of a threat um, than the other one certainly. And you've got the wizard to help as well, so yeah, exactly. If, you know, I guess get the score, and then if you have to use the whiz to get to overtime, you have to use the whiz to get to overtime. It's looking scary, though, man. It's looking scary. It is. Scary. I mean, I wouldn't want to be. I wouldn't want to be the Burts here. I think there is a there is a strong two turn possibility. Let's see what he decides to set up. Yep. It was it was S Invictus. It was S to spit to spit on the French. That was a really old meme. That was out meme, wasn't it? That was that was like there was somebody was like, "Why you spit on the French or something?" That was what some guy said, and it was you know, it was there was no actual spitting on the French, but because some guy said that in chat, uh, Elk kept writing <laughs> S to spit on the French, and then lots of people would type S. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. I don't really have anything against the French. It's just funny to say frogs, isn't it? No. The French people are actually really lovely and nice people, to be fair. No, the it's, ones uh, I've met. Just, there, there, are a lot in, there are a lot in Paris who are quite nasty, but, you know. Yeah, the French yeah. people I've met have been, have been lovely. The Germans I've met have been lovely as well. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it depends where you go with all these countries, to be fair. I mean, there's, you know, there's, I mean, it's ev pretty much everyone's the same, right? There's, there's scumbags and nice people in every, every yeah, exactly. People, isn't there? If you go to a major city, you're more likely to find some of the scumbags. Go mm. to the nice coastal areas, though, and you find lovely people. Mm. Exactly, Invictus. Ha ha ha. Oui oui oui. <laughs> plim plom plu. <laughs> oh, oh, croissant, I feel <laughs> <down there. laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. The French Jim and Bob is great. I fucking love the French. Yeah, they're not been on lately. You know, for some reason, I must have turned off the commentary. Maybe for the commentary, I turned it off. Yeah, probably. Because you don't really need them talking to you while you're talking. But I quite like it when I'm playing, just because it cheers me up listening to the 
French background game. noise, isn't it? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, this if there is overtime, it is going to mean we overlap with the Chunt versus Thomas T game. But we can just watch it on replay and catch up to it live. Um, exactly. Obviously, we'll stick with this as it if it does go to overtime. Which it, it might not, right? Shame you can't, shame you can't watch it. Double. Oh, that's so it's not Le, good. That's Le, not going to do. The Duble scores, and of, of course, he had to re-roll it because it gives him a chance at a two turn. So. I mean, it's instant Whoa. karma from his last drive. He picked up on a, he picked up the kick up, the kick off on a, on an edge to wolf. <laughs> so you gotta, you gotta balance it out, don't you? Drips yeah. and drabs. I guess so. It does put a damper on his turn here. He's gonna have to take safe moves. I mean, regardless of what he does, he's gotta, he's gotta throw somebody down the field. He's gotta make a blitz and throw it down. Yeah. I mean, he just does it on the right hand side here, doesn't he? Just hits that peasant and runs down the field. How many people he runs through? Yeah, I mean, he wants to hit the blocker, right? Because it's a better player to remove. Um, the problem is if you both down it, but he doesn't both down it. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, she's going to get a few scoring threats at least. Bit of basing. Obviously the wolf is the one his main main guy that he wants to be able to score with. Do what he does, Sam. I don't think he had to go quite so far down the field, but fair enough. Do you have to tag the player on the right here? What's he going to tag it with? That's a good question. Does he have anything to tag it with? The zombie's not in range, it's marked. You could use I mean, white, oh, do you have to tag it with a white? Oh, you're tagging it with a white. And you don't have to. I just, just you could tag bad. it with the, You could tag it with the Edge 2 Wolf, right? Because the Edge 2 Wolf isn't a great scoring threat. Yeah, so he's tagging yeah. it from the backside, so it's still a scoring threat itself. So that's yeah. pretty nice. There we go. Is he going to pick up and try and hand off to this guy and then scoot him forward like that? Could be an idea. I assume that's the plan here. I'm assuming he's using that goal for the pick up and handing off. I mean, what if he doesn't hand off? What's his other play? I mean, can he hold? He can't really hold it back a turn. Yeah, yeah, he can. He's he just can just gonna... hold it here. This, this guy can go. Like, he's got it all screened, right? 2 2. So th this guy can go to there. But if he holds it there, does he not just blitz that block zombie there and just whack a load of players in the way? Yeah, but then you can move around and pass it. Well, you could do. I don't I know, I'd, I'd just hand it off and well, I'd hand it off and smack it down the field. I guess the risk is the bolt, right, if you hold it here. If you hold it here, you could just bolt. Bolt the ball, blitz a zombie and then pick it up with the edge four. And punt it. Or something. Yeah. So he probably does want to hand it off, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah it is an edge four, so it just dodges, but, you know, every roll that you have to make, especially in an overtime format like this, is, you know, that's the potential for less re-rolls. And if it goes to kick, that's not what you want, is it? I mean, it's not what you want in an overtime format to use re-rolls anyway. No, I think he's going to be looking to... Yeah, you know, he's going to be looking to save his re-roll here, realistically. Yeah. So he decides to do... Like both look pretty decent, right? If he bolts here. He okay, bolt. so he's just gonna decide to hold it there. Yeah, he could bolt, he could blitz one, blitz a zombie, and then uh, get the edge four through. So he, he might think about bolting, but he might not. Yeah, it was Bolt's risky. It the handoff was risky, but it was a possibility. It was a possibility they had to consider, and even dodge, right? The one in nine dodge, he could have just one in nine dodged. He could have just gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? He could have been here, holding the yeah. ball. That's pretty strong. Very strong, in fact. I 
and it's not nice and like you know none of us would want to do it but it might have been the right player but I don't think anybody would do it because everybody would be scared of failing and stuff you know people probably don't do enough one in nines people probably aren't comfortable enough doing one in nines I know I'm not <laughs> One in nine's are oh he goes to the bolt. He does do the bolt, yeah. He gets it done. Yeah, and here we go. Oh. He can he can blitz this zombie and collect the ball. Yeah, this is this is why I wanted to hand off and run it down. Yeah, me too. I didn't I didn't like the the holding it play there. But hey, it's not what I would have done, not my game. Let's see if he can get the blitz onto the zombie. Goes in with the charge. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, is he gonna use? I mean, he's got. He, he kind of. He's got it, right? He kind of. Can he not? Oh, oh no! <laughs> he kind of can't. And he's still got threes, right? He's still got threes. Still yeah. Two plus, and then a three plus, and a three plus. Like it's. Oh, he gets the three plus. He gets. He gets the two plus out. Gets the three plus. Gets the three plus. Pick up. Okay. He could okay, just stay here. He, he could just stay here now. He doesn't have to dodge out again because he's because he's popped dodge. If he hadn't popped dodge, he could have tried like. To what roll about? Way back. Uh, I was going to say, you just hold it there, don't you? I was going to say, what about just lobbing it down the field? But you can just hold it, can't he? Yeah, you can just hold it, and now he's got to get is it better to Is it better to lob it down the field? I mean, he doesn't have... I mean, he'd be a, it'd be a minus because he got the zombie there, right? Choose this not seems, to do this it. This seems stupid because this guy can score basically just as it. Oh, okay, not if he does that. So he should have done this one first. He should have done that. So, so yeah, he should have done this dodge first because if he fails this dodge now, like, this is... This is only marginally worse than that, so didn't really achieve anything. But he should have done that, that one first. But never mind. Um, yeah, no, you've got to keep it because he's got to power you, right? Like you've got to make him power you, and then he's got to use an edge three player to yeah. him. So like it just makes it or he well, doesn't. If he if he if he kicked it correctly, could you put it out of range? No, no, no. The punt was terrible. I don't know. No, there was there was nowhere he could punt to. Because if he punts it, like, even if he throws it here, like, right in the corner, which he couldn't, this could just go and get it and then lob it up. So, uh, he couldn't. Yeah, he but couldn't then he'd have, to make a, he'd have to make a roll for it. You've got intercepts on it. I don't know. But it's, well, it's I mean, not it, on the again, it's, Look, Faulty, he's got to knock it over right now. I know, I know, That's I know. It's way better than just dropping it and stuff. Yeah, no, that, the, the, he shouldn't, he shouldn't have. Well, I guess he should have considered the punt and then dismissed it right a lot of the time I don't consider the punt and then afterwards I think ooh the punt would have been the right player so you, you should consider the punt even if you dismiss it but yeah I am I am guilty of not considering punts when sometimes I should have sometimes I should have but like I just whereas Rick is Rick always considers the punt and I think he punts too much but uh the only, the only reason I would definitely. consider it here is because he's got he's already got a piece marking the ball, right? That's the only reason I'd consider it. I mean it's it's definitely terrible here. It's definitely shit and wrong here. <laughs> but um you should still consider it because it might not be shit and wrong, you know? Like so you, like if you yeah. just if you just don't even think about it, then that's that's def it's definitely wrong to not think about it. You have to think about it and give it enough thought to dismiss it. You can't just dismiss it out of hand. Well, I mean, you can. You're gonna have you to shouldn't. go for the blitz. He's gonna have to go for a dodge blitz here. This is the, that's the question, right? Does it? Does he just go? Does he just hit with his wrestle, or does he rely on the wrestle to to pick it up and score? And it's like he's probably gonna have to rely on the wrestle to pick it up and score. So he's probably gonna have to like dodge blitz with this guy, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. No, he's not gonna do that. Was he gonna do it with the zombie? Maybe he could. He does the pick up with a zombie or? Does the dodge off with no? Him surely you don't do the pick up with the zombie. What you could right? do is you could blitz from here, power him to there, and then this I mean, guy it's a could string, go and get it's it. It's a strength plus. It. It's a strength plus goal. It's not. The strength doesn't matter because he's got the assist, but he's got wrestle. That's the big thing, right? He hasn't. Yeah. His tackler is all the way back here, but it's an edge three player, so he's the player you want picking it up and passing it. But yeah, exactly. he's, he's assessed the fact that he can't do that, and uh, yeah, doesn't get not, it anyway. He's not going to get the one turn. So, Martin's going to have overtime. another chance. Yeah, he'll have another chance to get these guys back, and uh, and a chance to win the toss, and a chance to maybe use his wizard. <laughs> Wizard's already been used. Used to the bolt. 
Oh yeah, he did use the ball. Oh my god, he literally yeah, he just... used it for the it's ball. It's because I yeah. looked at it. Because I looked at it, and it was still the gap there. You know, I didn't realise. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. my god, that's so annoying. Yeah, he, he did ball it. Yeah, so he, you, the ball was a success in the oh, he got all the time. It. Wow. Yeah, but what? Yeah, yeah. Well, he wanted to up all the other one, didn't he? Like it's only 50-50 to get him back. I don't know. I would have taken the chance. So I wouldn't have appoed it. No, I think I think you have to appo that. Mm. I feels it feels bad to appo it there, man. If, I mean, obviously you've got to there, right? Upon further further deliberation, yeah, you need the players, right? Yeah. But fuck me, does that feel bad? Yeah. Putting on a putting on a no <laughs> no skill isn't. <laughs> yeah. What he's won can the toss. Do, man? He's won the toss, so he's got nine players. And the ball and yeah. the re-roll, he can definitely potato this know. with a strength five. Maybe he would have saved it just in case another piece, a key piece here gets removed. But if you're never going to use it, you know, mm -hmm. what's the point? You got yeah, to, got to just use it sometimes. Yeah, it's very like you know, you've got to win the match before you care about like you know players dying at the end of the day. Like it's, yeah. it's all the time. The chance of him taking a cas now is small. The chance of him being a perm is even smaller. He just you know he, he, that he needs players bodies on the field to protect the strength yeah. five. He is the bird, yeah. He is the bird. Um, I mean, you watch this. One of his giga pieces are about to get removed. Yeah, when is putting actually good? I mean, it's, it's a good question, Victor. It rare, very rarely, like probably never. No, no, it's it's not never. It's not never, and I treat it as never sometimes, and I shouldn't. But it's it's very rarely. Like there 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 are some situations, like you know, when it's hard for you to keep hold of it. And if you if you're almost certainly going to lose it, you know if if you've yeah, got... if you're going to lose it anyway, that's a good time to that's the that's a good time to use it if you know you're going to lose it. Yeah, like if it's almost certainly you lose it. If you if you can like punt it away and you've got faster players than them, so they can't catch it, they can't get it that turn, but you can get it the next turn and stuff like that. There's to to avoid bolts on the player with the ball, things like that. That there are there are a very occasional times when you should punt, but I mean I think I don't punt enough. And I think Rick's never too usually much. mind it though, because it doesn't matter if it's inaccurate as long as you actually get the throw off. You know. Yes. Yeah. It's that's usually a, that's only the thing. fumble that's terrible, but I still generally don't because I generally like the fact that my opponent has to knock over the player with the ball. You know, like that's generally yeah, enough yeah. to tilt to tilt the the balance of probabilities into keeping for me. I mean, for every player they're using to knock you down, there's a player they're not using to pick up the ball. You know. Yeah. Yeah, like if you've got a gut, like you know, if you if like let's say you've got like a gutter here and like two other gutters here, and they've got like you know s some players over here, um, you know they they can two D you into another two D and stuff. Oh, and that's a, get the ball off you. Whereas if you that's chuck big. it over here, you can catch it. That's an extra game. extra reroll there for the butts, Jim. Yeah, huge, huge. And that's I mean, very big. Yeah, this is looking real good for the butts now. Strength five, Bert blitzes out. Is he just going to go for it? I guess so. Can he? We'd have to do the handoff. I don't think he goes through this turn, right? No, he's going to stand does there. He? Oh, I guess that, he's that's, going... the, that's the square he's standing, right? He's standing that square because that's this guy picking up and going seven, and then next turn going seven and passing from here. So that's why... The bird is stood yeah. in this exact square. Now, of course, he will have somebody touching him, but he might be able to blitz him free or whatever. Yeah, turn 15 and 6. But, you know, again, you still need to have the... It still needs to be better than holding it. And, like, sometimes punting is better than holding it. Oh, wow, he's not going fully battle. Oh, okay, well, I hate that. Like, punting's just funny, like, oftentimes it's just better to keep it. It's almost always better to keep it, because have, making your opponent, like, you know, activate two players to hit the guy with the ball, probably, right, one to assist, one to hit, and then he has to roll like a pow, which is usually 55%, yeah. like, it's generally better no, to some, keep it. Sometimes it can guarantee that they don't get the touchdown if they don't have a player in position for it, you know? Yes, Or they don't sometimes. have a kind of high sometimes. move, and that's, that's always a good time to do it. Not always. Sometimes it's a good time to do it. I mean, it's always a good time if they can't reach it. No, it it's not. It no, it's not. Down. It's not because you might fumble no. it. You might fumble it and just give them the ball. Ah, but you got to go for it. You miss a hundred percent the chances. You, you don't, don't take to go for it. You hundred percent. Don't don't give people bad blood ball advice, Faulty. 
<laughs> I give great blood bowl advice. You don't have to go for it at all. <laughs> Last time I checked, Jim, you haven't won Chalice, nor have I. We're on even terms here. <laughs> no, I'm 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 catering for the blood bowl peasants, the people who aren't good. I'm I'm the twenty percent coacher, right? I say what people are thinking, but they don't want to actually say. <laughs> <laughs> all those all those stupid thoughts in their head that they go, if I say this, I'm gonna be maimed by the Blood Bowl community. <laughs> I've got a voice of those people, Jim. Oh, that's nice. And they've all won the same amount of CCLs as me. Yep. That's true. <laughs> and PC. And Elyod. <laughs> and Purple Goo. <laughs> <laughs> Right, let's see what happens here. What's he get, what's he gonna do to stop it here on the uh on the necro? Whack a couple of bodies in front of it on the left hand side. Try and slow it down. Yeah, just I mean he's he, he's he's committed to the left hand side here, that's the thing. Yeah, strength four can hit this guy. The strength four, either the ghoul or the white can punch this guy. Probably the ghoul because he's strength four and he's like wrestle anyway. And then whack some things in front. Hope for the best. A great, strategy. What he has to do. a great strategy. A great strategy. Hope for the best. What's this? He's going to bait the surf? Well, wow, he's, he's probably going to put the other wolf like here or something to stop that. You've got to hope so, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do you still take it? I mean, surf, sir. Uh, you know, he's, he's got two surfable pieces there, Jim. Feels like to me, he's, uh, he's trying to bait to slow down here. No, he's just trying to get in the way. But yeah, obviously, oh, obviously well. the tackle is is like the best scoring threat in terms that he's closer and he's the most protected. But I mean, if yeah. he can score on strength five, he will, right? So like, the strength five is hard to take down. So you're probably not going to be able to take him down. Okay. I mean, he is baiting, so like, this is pretty tempting to just surf the, his wolf here. What I'm saying? I want to I wanna surf him. Fails the dodge. You can't, can't re-roll that, can you? You might have to, because he's going to surf your oh, wolf. One left. Because <laughs> he doesn't have just... to go for the score this turn, right? Like, he doesn't have to. He could go for the score this turn. He could, you know, he could run it up and uh, and pass to him, and then try and blitz through the score. But he can just two D him, surf the wolf, and then go back surf this guy. Yeah, so two surf. I I quite like just going for two surfs. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I just take the two surfs here. Yep, yep, correct. You could even block this guy, stand him up. Blitz and dodge out. Good. See what he decides to go for. Necro Savants are in uh, Battle Brothers. Nice. Oh, God, I love Battle Brothers. I keep thinking about it, wanting to play it again. Oh, it's so You're good. You're an addict, Jim. It's no more Battle Brothers for you. It's so good, though. See if I was uh, see if I was correct, and if he goes to the surfs, I think he should. I I actually think he should. Like, it's rare that I think so, but like this is not an easy score this turn. Yeah, this is the thing. He doesn't. Oh, okay. And he's going, I mean, he's he's going for, the score this he's turn. Going for it. Yeah. yeah. So it's going to be like what a three plus pass. Not what I would have done. No, a three plus pass. He Maybe doesn't. He doesn't have to score. No, he doesn't. No, I really like. I really like he's making got, two serves. He's got other pieces marked up, and that's you know, that's potentially two pieces just removed. Yeah. And then what's he going to do after that? You know, it's, I think it's a good trade-off. Yeah, I mean, I obviously, know. it's a good trade-off here if he gets it, but <laughs> <laughs> you know. 
Hello, Ducky. Have you finished yours? Yeah, it's still going. It's gone over time. No spoilers, please, pass. Ducky. So he's made the pass, yep. And it's just going to be uh, two GFIs to score. See if he can do it. He's got the two re-rolls as well. Yep. That's a one, that's a two. He's done GG. It. Martin Septon taking, taking Burt's all the way. <laughs> Maybe. Fucking Burt. Maybe. Maybe the power bird, the strength five. It's hilarious that the strength five bird is Rick as well, isn't it? Rick Reckless is the strength five bird. And, uh. Well. Yeah, he carried him to victory. Unbelievable. Um, so there you go. Oh, look at the MVP. Yeah, the best. The best uh, player on the team. So there you go. Congratulations, Martin Septim. Commiserations, Contagious E. Thank you very much, Faulty, for joining me in the booth. Very nice to have you on. A rare treat. Very. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.